Alright, this is my compression tank. This is the hyperbaric chamber. And this, if you cannot see, is my mouse. Now, he's going to be a very important part of my science project to see how he's going to be surviving under different pressures. So, we have this, the air pressurizer, which is pressurized to about 100 PSI. Now, when I put that inside of this chamber, it's going to be roughly half of that, probably a little bit greater because the volumes are different because of equilibrium and whatnot. But we're going to pressurize this little guy and see what changes occur to him. So I'm going to let some air out of this. I only want, I'm only going to pump up here on 55, 60 PSI because I haven't really tested the capability of the chamber yet. So if we can all see, I'll put them somewhere. Is that good? Okay. Hey, Vicky, can you come here and record this guy? Mm-hmm. All right, Vicky is going to be recording him. Let's keep him on. Okay. All right, now the pressurization is going to begin. All right, let's see what the pressure is. Pressure monitor. Stick them on. 51.5 PSI. Now, if we do some calculations here, 51.5 divided by 14.7, he's under about 3.5 atmospheres. We convert that to seawater, multiply it by 30, <coughs> This is what this mouse would be like in an equivalent of 105 feet below the sea surface. And as we can see, not a lot of changes have occurred. Might having a little bit of nitrogen narcosis going on. A lot of weird things can happen to this guy with partial pressures of the gases. Alright, now we're going to decompress them very, very quickly as nothing really happens. You're getting some vapor in there, starting to fog up a little bit. He's moving a little faster. Next time we'll find out his maximum tolerance before he's crushed. And you have survived. Good job, Mousy Mouse.